it's that time of year again. Snow's already flying in Wyoming. It's a scary time for some of us, like like me. In Oregon, where I live in, in Medford, it only snows like once a year, so I don't have a lot of experience in the snow. And I'm guessing it's the same for a lot of you new guys out there. Uh, hmm. There's a few things you need to know. So we're gonna go through those in this video. A multi-car pileup near Janesville, Wisconsin, involving as many as 30 cars. Take a look at this. We are looking live in Janesville. You can see that massive pileup. Oh my God. Just terrifying moments yesterday on the Trans-Canada Highway near Brooks, Alberta. The driver of that semi-trailer that overturned was not hurt, incredibly, but it was a nightmare. We continue our coverage tonight of this enormous car pileup in eastern Oregon. Did you see this? I-84 is back open after more than 170 vehicles crashed in snowy conditions yesterday. Brutal weather conditions responding to a string of pileups. The biggest turned a major highway into a wrecking yard. Chaos on the highway today as snow squalls led to whiteout conditions in eastern PA. More than 50 cars, trucks, and tractor trailers slammed into each other in Schuylkill County. The number one thing that causes huge pileups is speed. If you can't see the vehicles ahead of you, how can you justify going 55 miles an hour on snow and ice? You need to slow down. Uh, I had an instructor once told me that you should only go as fast as you feel comfortable hitting the ditch. And for me, that's less than 45 miles an hour because I don't want to get hurt. And that speed that you're looking for is your personal choice. You're going to hear people on the radio saying, you're going too slow, blah, 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 blah. Well, let them drive their own truck. Don't let them drive yours. problems with driving in the snow is low visibility, which means not being able to see. Uh, one of the things that will help you is carry a lot of extra uh, washer fluid for your windshield because you're going to be using it a lot. That uh, white salty crap gets all over the window and if you run out of fluid, you're gonna really notice it because that stuff sucks. Another thing to watch for is bridges. Bridges do freeze a lot faster than the regular roadway. And another thing that people don't think about is 
the exits and the on-ramps, those don't get plowed as often as the rest of the freeways do. So when you come up to a ramp, slow down some before you get on it. So number one, you can see what's coming up. And number two, you're going slower because usually like in Wyoming, they'll be just covered with a packed sheet of snowy ice. When it comes down to it, you are the captain of your ship. Don't let anyone decide for you if it's safe to drive or not. Uh, if it's not safe to drive and you do and you're in an accident, you can be arrested. Um, it's no joke. Your dispatcher's not going to get arrested. Your dispatcher's not going to get in trouble. You are. So it's up to you to say no when you need to say no. And it is your responsibility, not no one else's. There's no one else who's going to take the blame. Here comes some more. Careful. See, I quit. Come get your truck. Sucks <laughs> because the camera makes it look like you can see, but you can't see. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, that didn't help either way. In one mile, keep right. Another thing that might save you from getting stuck in a pileup is having a CB radio and keeping it turned on. That, that would be a big plus too. I don't know why a bunch of drivers are out here riding around with their CB turned off because it's kind of important to get that information ahead of time. What are you complaining about me? I wasn't riding your ass, driver. One more thing is uh, not only do you need to slow down, but you need to keep a space between you and whoever's in front of you much greater than normal. So like, usually you'll be like four seconds behind and now you need to be seven to 14 seconds behind. You need to give yourself a lot of extra room. And then 
when you're having to stop, you need to give yourself a lot more time to stop because you don't want to hit the brakes real hard or you'll go sliding down the road. So give yourself space.